Honey is checking out his room and he's moving much better than he used to. Mm. Oh, bless you. Oh, bless you. Mommy's going to clean your bottle. What do you see, Ronnie? Checking out the doll collection. He doesn't see very well, if at all. He primarily uses his nose and his ears to figure out where he is. There's his food, and he just found it. He's devouring his eggs and broccoli, babe. Oh, good. He makes a funny sound. Let me go over here. He said, Yum Yum, Mommy put some steamed broccoli with, with the eggs and blended it. He likes broccoli cold too, so next time I'll do that. I wasn't thinking because our little lucky girl likes it all blended, but I know he likes broccoli. Um, what do they call them? Like rounds? He likes yeah. them whole with his eggs. Yeah, but he's still loving it. And like before that, I gave him some pear with a little bit of peas, a little bit of spinach, a little bit of apple, broccoli, and something else. I don't know what it's in the middle. And he's getting and uh, his medicine. He's getting medicine, which is currently he's getting dewormed. And he gets Vetri DMG and he gets fish oil. And we believe the fish oil has helped him with his recovery. Good boy. And he started his deworming, I think, two days ago. So I think that might be the last dose, or maybe it was one day ago. Because the first dose he didn't really eat and mix it with his food. So we've got to give him another dose. But uh, it is working because he did have worms in his stool. Little tiny ones, tiny little ones. They were tiny, I know, tiny, I know. tiny, like the size of a human pubic hair, actually. <laughs> That's what they looked like, didn't they? They were like little white pubic hairs almost. But those were worms. They were, they were circular kind of things. I've never looked at white pubic hairs, but okay. <laughs> I'm just making assumptions, baby. I don't know they come in the color of it, but anyway. <laughs> That's what they. I would say they looked like. They're very, very tiny, very thin, skinny, and. Uh, so he does have worms, and he's getting rid of them now. What a good eater. Mommy's so proud of you. He ate almost all his eggs. See, there's so many dollies to play with. Look how he walks. When we first got him, he could not walk like he that. He would flop over. He would fall over. He would turn around and flop to the other side. He would, uh, if he could stand up, he would go in circles. But this is a vast improvement. He's gotten much bigger too, fuller, healthier, because he was really skinny when we first got him. He looked like he was a baby, so I don't know yeah. if he was just malnourished Poor or if he yeah. was an adolescent and he's just grown or he's just eating so well that he's gaining weight. I'm not sure. Hey, Ronnie, buddy. Now we still are sure that his eyesight is very limited. But he's looking around, so he has some eyesight. Yeah. He's looking around better than he used to look up all the time at the lights. He would like be looking upwards and fall over. He's looking straight forward now. Okay, where's the possum dollies? Look how they move. <laughs> I can't believe he's not falling over. What a good boy. Oh my look god, you're so it. handsome. You're such a handsome boy. Look at that boy go. We're not used to having a possum that can walk. This is new for us. Our lucky girl is disabled and she will never walk because of her neurological problem in her spine, but uh, this boy is looking to make a good recovery, other than the fact he doesn't see so well. So, okay. Are you wanting a little more egg? I think he left a little bit in his bowl. He oh, might be getting okay. full. I don't know. Okay, then I won't give him any yeah, more. I think he's fine. Away. I think he's looking for a latrine now. I don't know. Don't do it in my doll try collection. Try not to do it in my doll collection. Yeah. I know you're more important than my dolls, but try really hard not to, just so I don't have to clean them all up. You want to so go look around the house, buddy? 
I can put him in the other room and see where he goes, babe. If you think it's, I think it might be too much no. new information for him right away. We don't want to do that just yet. You're so confident today. Before, yeah. when we let him out, he would hide behind my doll stroller. Yeah, he <laughs> ran. Yeah, he almost went right back to the doll stroller to hide, but now he's just went under the stroller. Now walking I think around. he's too tall for the stroller. <laughs> Hi. I don't think he likes being woken up this early in the evening for him. It's oh. what, like eight o'clock here, and he's he was dead asleep when we got him up, so he probably wants to go back to bed. But I don't know. I got him up because I saw him up. He hadn't had food since this morning, and usually well, lately, he, sometimes he would That's wake the up outdoors, at lunch when buddy. I was feeding the cat. Sorry, you won't be going outside uh, unless you're supervised. There's tons of Fleas There's out fleas there. out in that yard. Yeah, we used to let our bunnies go out in the yard. They'd come right back in and with they'd fleas. they come in with fleas, <laughs> so, and it was just horrible. Yeah, our cats are treated, but uh, we're not going to put them out Bunnies are very sensitive, and when you get the medicine, it's extra expensive, but also takes more treatments for them to get better, unlike cats. All right, we're going to say good night to good our night, recovering everyone. head trauma, Ronnie. And he Wait a good boy, you're actually able to walk on the hard floor. And he can walk. walk I cannot. Uh, this quick, we've only had him. This is three weeks and one day. Come on, sweetheart. You want to go bathroom? I'm going to wipe your bottom. Come on.